Hello, good evening. Well, I have uh, been away from talking for a while to y'all, and I apologize, but I've just been kind of going through the motions, I guess. And I guess that's kind of a good thing, just to get from one place to another, but it's also kind of blah, in a sense. But um, I had some anxiety yesterday. Um, for those that don't know, I was diagnosed with PTSD back in 2004, I want to say. And um, I've done a phenomenal job of getting past a lot of it. Um, and right now I'm medication free for the first time in God knows when. And I'm doing pretty good, pretty good. Um, my reasons for those kind of things are the numbing, you know, and I don't want to be numb. The destruction it'll do to other parts of your body, your teeth, your, you know, maybe internal organ organs, I think liver might be a problem. Um, I don't know. I mean, just look at your commercials and all the possible side effects, usually including death, um, that these drugs have. Now, initially, I think just to stabilize somebody, it's not a bad idea. But as far as long term, um, Unless you've got some irreversible damage of some kind that's, you know, physical, that cannot be undone, I, I just, I just don't know. I mean, there, there are cases you need medication or you're going to die. I get that. Those medications are absolutely phenomenal. But, um... I don't think that's how we should be exactly treating certain aspects. I mean, you need to get in there and stabilize somebody, but then you need to teach them different ways besides medication on how to handle things, if at all possible, in an ideal situation. <laughs> but, I mean, this didn't happen overnight. This, this has been years in the making. Um, maybe I could have done it sooner. I don't know. I, maybe some of the medications would cause some of the problems continuous. I don't know. All I know is that I feel normal, I guess, as normal as you can possibly feel. Um, I mean, I don't know if I've ever been normal. I don't know if that's a possibility for me. Um, anyway, I'm going to work in the real world, capital R, real world, not really capital R, small r. And um, I'm functioning. I'm trying to realize where the boundaries are. Um, not put so much pressure on myself, but then don't be too slack. <laughs> Um, you know, it's sad. I mean, I hope to have some of those light bulb moments with these students, but, um, I mean, it just dawned on me on how low they are. And, I mean, I'm teaching some of the, what are considered your average students, but they're not average. Oh, and some of these classes, now I have a, you know, some that are up there, but they would be, in my day, what would have been considered average. I don't, I don't understand. I mean, I went to public school. Um, I didn't look at anybody around me as being that low. I. I don't know, maybe I was young and couldn't observe those sorts of things, but 
I'm talking about in general. I don't know. It, it's very concerning. I mean, I, I, I'm trying to get them to do their GPA today. That's simply adding up the values of the letter in A's 4, B's 3, C's 2. Okay? If you have 9 grades, you take that, let's say it totals up to 27, you divide that by 9, and then it's 3. You have a 3.0. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I mean... <laughs> You have some that just get it, one, two, maybe. You've got a few that need to be reminded on how to do it, okay? And the rest of them, no clue. No clue. Not even an inkling. Or... I ask them to watch a film and come up with two central ideas. Okay, I give up. I'm going to give you the two central ideas of the film. Now, I, I want you to come up with the supporting details in the film of those central ideas. Our main ideas is what we used to call them. You know, things that support that. <laughs> if your main idea is that you're going to grow a tomato plant, then your supporting ideas would be the things that you do to grow that tomato plant. I mean, that's simplistic, but you understand. <clears throat> and holy cow. But anyway, I mean, it's just, it's a struggle. It's a struggle, and I, I, you know, I don't blame the kids, but what is going on here? It's, it's not their fault. Is it all the teachers' faults before them? Is the parents' fault? I mean, is something, I mean, I mean, we can see the breakdown in society, but good Lord, I can see it in the classroom. I can see it, and I'm talking about your supposed average kids, I'm not talking about the ones who have, you know, IEPs, which are papers that tell you that they are learning disabled or they have autism or they have um, severe dyslexia, not mild dyslexia, but severe dyslexia. Um, you know, they, they have some sort of mild, moderate disability of some kind and sometimes extreme disabilities. I'm not talking about those kids. I'm talking about the ones that, you know, average. Average. But, I mean, what's average anymore in the United States? Did I miss this somewhere along the way? Um, I hope, you know, is our population really that low? And able to doing basic sentence structure, you know, complete sentences and thought processes and basic math. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I've come into a hole somewhere uh, that needs to be fixed. But wow. Wow. I mean, I, I'd need to do a study across the whole United States to see what's happening here. Uh, lack of discipline. <laughs> Ooh, that's one. One. Um, I guess parenting is not the same anymore. I don't know. But, anyway, I got to work today. A um, couple more days, and then I have off. So, yeah, I'm just trying to survive. <laughs> have some moments every now and then that are great. <laughs> that would be wonderful. But um, looking at what's going on in the world, trying to in the middle of all of it, and uh, it's not very pretty. The left, the far left, the 
the not even normal Democrat left is, is off their rockers. I mean, when okay, let's let's look at it this way. If all the news is got fakery in it, semi truce, whatever, like the video where they said it was Turkish um, soldiers, um, you know, killing Syrian, not um, a certain faction that we're supposed to be supporting. The hobby, oh shoot, I'm having a mental breakdown. But anyway, a certain tribe that we have fought with in the past, that we're abandoning them. But anyway, um, they put up a false video from some freaking play warfare in Kentucky. I mean, and the only reason this stuff is caught is because of alternative media. It's the only reason it's caught. Back in the past, we didn't have all that. I mean, that's the benefit of this. There is one benefit, for sure. It's all the negatives. But back in the past, we'd have, we would have all watched that video and gone, uh-huh, that's exactly what that is. Uh-huh, it's a video in Syria instead of Kentucky, United States. Okay. But they're not stopping. They just keep right on going. I mean, what can you look at and believe? It doesn't matter which side. doesn't matter what news station. I mean, what can you believe? Really? You know? I mean, I don't have some sort of, you know, foolproof um, bullshit meter, you know, that says, um, alert, alert, they're lying right at the second, or, you know... How can you really tell? It, it's it's all becoming so ludicrous that it's just like womp, 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 womp. You know, <laughs> it's just over and over again. I can have, see, watch a news station one time and it'll just keep coming into your news feed. You know how you finish watching a video and then another one will automatically play and you just can't get rid of it. it, it it's like a mainstream news channel that I was listening to. Well, I'll listen to it through earphones and I won't even look at it. And I'm listening to the news and then I go and look at the date and it was like in March earlier this year, it sounded like the same thing, like it could have happened yesterday. It's just the repetitive over and over again. Same shit, different day. Oh my God. It was a real eye-opener. Because I'm listening to this, and I got, and I thought, well, I haven't even looked at my screen. Let me see what this is, and let me check the date on it. <laughs> uh, but it was it wasn't current. I always check the date on things if I accidentally listen to them, and it seems something I should know or whatever comes up, and I'm actually caught listening to it. I mean, is this somebody's opinion five years ago? Is this yesterday or what? Some things it doesn't matter. Other things it does. So. I mean, I don't want to tell you there was an earthquake two hours ago because I heard something and didn't check the date on it. You know, that's, people do that all the time on Facebook. They put up these articles like it happened today and you, you bother to click on it, which most people don't bother to. So this is how all this, you know, false information comes up as being, seems to be current, but it's not. <laughs> And if you click on it and just look at the date, some of these things are years and years old. Or even months and months and months old. And I hate that. Hate that. You know, just check your shit. But people don't. Anyway, I guess that's the English person in me and doing research properly. <laughs> and going to school for so long. <laughs> for what? Anyway... Um, but it does, it does help me, you know, siphon through stuff, uh, garbage, you know, 
or irrelevancy. It's, you know, it's, it's not relevant because um, it's not current or it's in another country, not this country or whatever. But yeah, but I've rambled on long enough, but those are just some of my ideas for the week. And I will be getting back to y'all. We have a disturbance in the Gulf. It looks like the last projection will be headed towards Florida instead of towards me, which is a good deal. But it will be sitting off the coast here, and um, anything can happen. If that front doesn't come through and push it, keep it south, um, and headed more taking a turn towards the east then it could come straight north or if that front breaks up i don't know but we'll see hopefully nothing and hurricane season actually isn't over even though we've got cooler temperatures it just seems strange but y'all have a good evening say your prayers and i will talk to you later good night